Hi Cubies, here's Alexandra again and welcome to another video. Today I want to give you a little update on uh, my terrain projects. Here as you can see uh, we have uh, the uh, Mega Turbine from uh, TT Combat. I have uh, fully assembled it now. Well, not 100% fully because uh, I left out all those uh, vents and the uh, um, tubes that uh, tube details uh, that uh, stuck out and also I have not attached uh, the railings yet <clears throat> but uh, overall this uh, thing is built uh, the inner part here is uh, still not glued in place uh, because uh, for painting purposes this here is all uh, still not uh, fully attached so I can uh, still remove and paint it but uh, overall this is uh, completely built well not 100% complete because I will modify it heavily. Um, as you can see here, I have here uh, an old uh, spice shaker and uh, I will uh, glue that here in place as uh, uh, some tube uh, insert. Then I have uh, some um, plastic uh, thing. <coughs> One second here from, uh, from a container. <clears throat> and uh, I will cut a hole in it and uh, um, place it here in the middle of this uh, with hot glue and uh, make this here as a, a walkable platform and um, yeah then I will uh, attach here the uh, ladders <coughs> uh, that are suppo uh, supposed to be here uh, put on the sides but uh, overall uh, this thing uh, got too big for my uh, board plates. My board plates are exactly 28.5 20, uh, centimeters across so um, this would be would have been too big with the letters here but uh, I will uh, attach the letters uh, then here and uh, uh, let them uh, be uh, going up to the walkways here and uh, from there I can uh, attach other uh, stuff. I will uh, make some more piping with uh, straws and uh, well, we will see uh, where I'm going with this, but uh, I will be working on this. Uh, also, on uh, other big news uh, here from um, Bandua War Games, uh, seven years ago I uh, got some uh, stuff from them. Here are the uh, modular ruins, um, but uh, I never uh, fully finished them because I never... Uh, uh, wanted to create a 40k board before, but now uh, um, I dug them out uh, out of deep storage and uh, I finished them. Here uh, you can see I have uh, a little bit more uh, of those uh, still uh, in my basement uh, that I will build. Here I have uh, a little uh, test paint job on that uh, <coughs> that might change in the future. Um, yeah, uh, the good thing uh, about this uh, uh, ruins is that they are uh, fully modular. Yes, you can see here uh, you can uh, replace them uh, as you like. You can uh, place them elsewhere on the board, make the uh, ruin bigger or smaller as uh, as you like. Yeah, that's uh, the uh, building here from uh, Bandua War Games uh, that I have. Yeah, uh, in uh, other uh, news um, here I have uh, a little bit uh, 3D printed uh, stuff that I wanted to use for my uh, uh, Imperial Knights, but I printed it a little bit too big and now this will become terrain. <laughs> I will uh, put that here on the uh, gaming board somewhere uh, as a crashed part of a, a knight. Yeah, what else? Um, uh, I am planning to uh, reuse this old uh, dice tower that I have here. This was a very cheap MDF dice tower. Um, I think I will uh, modify this uh, into terrain uh, that uh, it will be uh, covered uh, from the sides and here uh, around with the uh, um, with the tiles from. Um, uh, here from uh, the semantic stuff um, to make it a futur futuristic building uh, that is destroyed and uh, well uh, it will be a functional dice tower on my uh, terrain board uh, well yeah that's uh, my little update here on my uh, terrain project I hope you like this and we see us in the next video you Alexandra bye